Hey guys. All right, guys, we're here today to do the video that won the Patreon poll of the week. And I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I get to vote as well. I voted oh. for this video because I, I really want you to discover this band. The band, is, the band name is Cloak. They're from Atlanta, Georgia in the U.S. of A. And the name of the song is The Voice in the Night. And this is from their upcoming album, The Burning Dawn. It comes out October 25th on Season of Mist. All right? Okay. For those of you paying attention at home. This is what I'm going to consider my discovery of 2019. This is their second album. They have an album that, that came out before this one. So it's not like this is their debut record. But I discovered them this year. I went to see Chemis live when Chemis was touring. They were the opening band. I went to see both of them in Toronto before we went to Heavy Montreal. Oh, okay. So I had heard of them, but I had never heard them. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I went to the show and I was blown away. Honestly, they, they, the bass player looks like Let Me Kill Mister. And they sound like Motorhead, but black metal Motorhead. Like, if, if, if I, I'm trying to paint a picture for you. Well, no, because when you say black metal Motorhead, the first thing that comes to my mind is a bath. Yeah, okay, so these guys are, are more rock and roll than a bath. Okay. But still with a huge amount of black metal influences. Okay. All right. So they have they even in this new album, they have a new album coming out. I just said the Burning Dawn, October 25th. By the way, in the next couple of days, you're going to see an album review that I did. Uh, in this new album, the Burning Dawn, they even have a little bit of like that southern sludge, you know, that just drags, just feels like, like you're dragging yourself through the sludge, you know, uh, no pun intended. So... I, I, to me, this is my greatest discovery of 2019 because I discovered this band this year and I've been in love with them ever since. And I've, I've, been, I've been spreading the gospel of the cloak to everybody who will listen to me to check out this band. So I was really happy that this video won because I've never seen the, I've heard the song, but I've never seen the video because obviously I already recorded an album review. It's going to be posted in the next couple of days, blah, 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 blah. So I, I know the song. It's one of my favorite songs from the new album. You're, you're you're hyping this up a lot. I, I honestly, I really want you to check I, out I this. Think, I don't think you should have put it on the Patreon poll because if you really wanted to show me, we could have done this as that. I know, but I was kind of hoping that it would win. I, I didn't want it to skew. I don't want to be the one skewing things. So I'm happy that I mean, people... You did, you did vote for yeah, I kinda, it. Yeah, I did kind of skew it. Okay, fine. Maybe I skewed it a little bit. Oh, All right. It's not fair to the others. Ah, who cares? It, it's it's my poll. Uh, I, I, I Facebooked. I Russian Facebooked our own Patreon poll. All right, are, are you ready for this? Yeah. All right, let's do this. I really hyped it.
song. All right. Since I already knew the song, and since I hyped it, I, I, I flavor flavored this song before it got started. Uh, I really want to hear you, what you, you have John to say. Goblikon the song. You I, I definitely John Goblikon this song. Yeah. Perfect hype. I was the perfect hype guy for this. Oh. So what did you think? By the way, before you say that, I just want to throw one more thing out there. Not only do they have a new album coming out, uh, The Burning Dawn, on October 25th, they're going to be touring in North America with label mates 1349, which I also did an album review. They also have an, an album. Uh, an album came out actually uh, Friday, the October 18th. Uh, so they're going to be touring together with another band called that you know, Wada. Yeah. Wada. I, I wonder if I've never seen them live. I wonder when they come on stage if they if they do that. Wada. Wada. Like what? Instead of ta da, it's wada. All right. Anyways. Instead of a box. <laughs> Pop out of the box. Yeah, uh, somehow I don't think that's going to happen. But anyways, they're going to be touring together across North America. They're going to be playing in Toronto November 1st, and I'm going to be there. So what did you think of uh, A Voice in the Night by Cloak? You know, when you, hype up, when you hype up stuff, you really go into detail about how the song is going to be. Well, not necessarily the song, but, but the style. The style. Okay. And it, it was did, I, did I describe perfect, it perfectly? Perfect. Because it's exactly what you said. It's a little bit of black metal flavor, but a lot of rock and roll, like yeah, almost overhead. almost the sound, the sound gravitates almost more towards the rock and roll yeah. than it does black metal. But the vocals and the atmosphere is black, is black metal. metal. That, that's kind of the vibe that I always Especially that the I got. Melody. The melody is all black metal. Yeah, it, it doesn't have that necessarily that rawness to the guitar that you get from from a, a straight up black metal band. You know what I mean? Like, uh, think of Mayhem, for example. It does not sound like Mayhem no. uh, musically, musically, but it has more that pure rock and roll side to the music. But the vocals and the overall atmosphere and how everything that it comes together, it kind of has a lot of that black metal influence to it. So that's why, like I said, when I went to see them for the first time was with Chemist. I didn't know what to expect from them. And like my jaw, like freaking dropped to the ground because I was like, wow, these guys are like amazing and live. It, 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 let's put it this way: they're one of those bands that you don't really lose anything live. Like they sound just like that. Wow. You know what I mean? Only a certain amount of bands can do that. Yeah, there's a lot of bands that when you listen to them live, it's almost like you're listening to a different band. So I, I was blown away by these guys. I, honestly, I was just and they come on stage; they don't even look like a black metal band. They look like a rock and roll band. Oh, you know one I mean? of the face paints. The... No, 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 no. Cowboy boots and 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 you know, like oh. they, they look like normal dudes. They're, they actually have a little bit of that soul fear look to them, but any, anyways. But no, but no, uh, big belly and no, uh, and crotch no. in your face. No, 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 that didn't happen either. Maybe it was the venue. It was a different venue. We were uh, more at eye level throughout the whole show. Uh, we're at eye level. Maybe if it was the other venue. Maybe if it was a different venue, maybe that would happen. But anyways, I, I was really taken back by them because when they came on stage, I, I like just by the way they looked, I wasn't really sure what I was going to get, and what I got was like this. And this I'll, is be, I'll be very confused. Yeah. If you've never heard of the band, they're called Cloak, and they walk on stage and they're wearing, like, cowboy boots and stuff Yeah, like but that. I kind of figured, I mean, they were opening for Chemist, so I kind of figured it had to be, like, something along yeah. the same kind of, I mean, they're not going to put a power but, metal band opening for Chemist. I mean, that just sure. wouldn't make any sense. So I'm not saying that would never happen. I'm just saying, like, it wouldn't make too much sense. So that, to me, was a surprise. It was, and, and I'm going to say this, they're the band, they're my band of 2019 as far as, a band that I've discovered this year wow. that I'm going to take away with me for the rest of my life. Like these guys just blew me away live. And I've, and, and from that show, that, that was before we went to Happy Montreal, so that's July. So from that show on, I knew they were, were going to release an album this year. And I, I was like on pins and needles. I couldn't wait to get the album for review because I couldn't wait to listen to it. Like what is this so, album going to sound like? Why didn't you show me this band earlier? Ah, that's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we go through so many bands, it's kind of hard. But when I got the album for review, and, and I was really blown away. The album is really good. The album has this really old school feel to it, even though it doesn't sound old school, but there's a little bit of that feel to it. Uh, it it's just, it just, the album uh, matched all my expectations. And I had a lot of expectations going in because, like I said, I really like this band. So the album met my expectations. When I saw that they released this video, I put it on the Patreon poll because I didn't I was like, oh, I, I hope it gets voted on. I'm not going to lie. I, I think we would, I would check it regardless, but I threw it in there anyways. And obviously the people on Patreon I think you would agree with me. They think this was last place. Oh, man, if, if it was last place, I, I think I would still find a way to check it out. Like we, I, I really, more, the most important thing for me, the only reason I put it on the Patreon poll 
was because I already heard the song and I already heard the album. I hadn't seen the video. So that's the only reason I threw it there. I wasn't as excited to check out the video because I already knew the song. But the more, when I put it on picture and pull, I hadn't done the album review yet. So then as I started listening to the album, I'm like, wow, I got to introduce you to these band, to this band, because I, I really think you're going to, you're going to enjoy this yeah, sound. It's, it's actually really good. Yeah. And, and the whole album, I mean, the, I mean, I'm not saying that all the songs sound the same. I gotta say, I, I, love, I love black bad. metal. Black metal is becoming one of oh, those this is genres cool. for me, and I, I really like, you know, nice rock and roll. So when you blend that together, you just make masterpieces. Yeah, and the the whole album, some songs, the sound has a little bit more of a black metal feel to it. Some songs are more uh, the pendulum tends to go more towards the rock and roll side. This one, I think it goes a little bit more towards the rock and roll side. Yeah. But some of them, you, you get also the, a little bit of that rawness that you get normally from black metal guitar riffs. Some of them. But they're, 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 to me, the key factor for these guys is they're able to create a very unique sound to themselves. Because they merge two genres that, while they may seem like they're not connected, they're far apart. Those genres actually have a lot of things in common. Yeah. So they're able to really connect those two genres in a way that, that they create a sound that's very unique to them. Like you talked about a bath when we started the video. If you listen to a bath, yeah, there's a little bit of that rock and roll there for sure. But, but it's, it's still of, black metal. Uh, yeah. You know, these guys are able to to really create something that's very unique to them. They have their own sound. And by the way, what did you think of the vocals? Because I absolutely love the, the vocals. The vocals were amazing. The 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 vocals absolutely amazing. The the song had the black metal feel to it. But it's, it's still a little bit atmospheric. Yeah, but you know, obviously the guitars weren't as raw as raw as normal uh, on metal. this one. On this one, and the guitar melody was amazing. It was amazing. The I love that. It, it, that was that was the black metal for me. Was that guitar melody? But it, the rest was just hard rock. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. They're, that's what I'm saying. They have a very unique way of blending those two genres together and make the song sound very unique to them it's not like there's another band out there that has a very similar sound there isn't this sound is, is it's like their sound like we've talked about bands like amon amarth when you started listening to a riff immediately you know you it's know amon amarth them. these guys have that kind of feel the moment they start playing you immediately know it's them i saw them at velvet underground and that's where they're playing again november 1st when they come which is you've been there for yeah. alien weaponry perfect venue for a band like this because it's kind of cavernous dark there's no gates you can be really close to the band, but I think the atmosphere of the venue itself, it's perfect for them. It, it really elevates the, the their music. Yeah. I, I just love these guys. If you guys like this, you guys got to check them out. Like I said, they have a new album coming out October 25th. The Burning Dawn is, if you like this song, you're going to like the whole album. I mean, like I said, some songs, the pendulum goes a little bit more towards black metal than others. But overall, it's just a magnificent record. All right, guys, this is it for today. Come back tomorrow. We'll have more videos for you. See you guys. See you.